What's going on guys? It's Greg here, aka New York Prepper. In this video, I'm going to test the penetration of a 12 gauge shotgun slug. And I'm going to be shooting a 12 gauge, 2 and 3 quarter inch, 1 ounce shotgun slug at some 2 by 10 framing lumber. It's just standard 2 by 10 Douglas fir framing lumber that you would buy at Home Depot. And the ammunition I'm going to be using in this test is some Federal Power Shock 12 gauge, 2 and 3 quarter inch, 1 ounce rifled slug that has a stated velocity of 1,610 feet per second. And the shotgun that I'm going to be shooting this round out of is my Remington 870 with an 18 inch barrel and a cylinder bore it has no choke at all it's just a straight pipe no rifling whatsoever so this slug is just a standard one ounce rifled slug it's a hundred percent lead it's not a sabot slug it's not a copper solid it's just a standard one ounce rifled slug in 12 gauge two and three quarter inch and i'm going to be shooting at the two by tens from a distance of about 15 yards now I've done a lot of tests with 2 by 10s with other firearms and cartridges and if you guys are interested in watching those tests I'll leave a link up above I've already tested a lot of different big bore revolvers such as the 44 Magnum 500 Magnum I've also tested 300 Win Mag some elephant gun rounds and other types of firearms so Check those videos out so you can get a good comparison of how the 12 gauge 1 ounce slug stacks up against other common firearms when it comes to penetrating wood, specifically 2 by 10 lumber. And at the end of the video, I'm going to do a comparison of the 12 gauge slug performance in 2 by 10 lumber compared to big bore revolvers like the 44 magnum and 500 magnum as well as some common rifle rounds that i've already tested in 2x10 lumber to see how it stacks up against those other types of firearms and the way that i have these 2x10 set up is i've cut them to one foot lengths and i screwed them all together by putting three inch framing screws in each corner of the two by tens so i screwed them all together to make like a giant block and the environmental conditions during this test were 45 degree air temperature 60 percent relative humidity and an elevation of about 1500 feet above sea level so stick around and i hope you enjoy the video all right guys first shot federal two and three quarter inch one ounce slug velocity is around 1600 feet per second Let's see what happens here
All right, guys, welcome back to the New York Prepper Top Secret Ballistics Analysis Lab in rural Pennsylvania. So I want to show you guys up close what this 12-gauge, one-ounce slug did to the 2x10 Douglas for boards. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to recover the slug and weigh what I recover and see what kind of weight retention we got with the slug but it appears to have penetrated at least the first 2 by 10 possibly the second. I haven't actually unscrewed this wood yet. As you can see, the screws are still here. So I'm going to take this apart, and we'll take a closer look, see exactly how many 2 by 10s this 12-gauge, 2 and 3 quarter inch, 1-ounce slug penetrated through. But it looks like at least one so far, and you can actually see... I don't know if that's the whole slug or part of the slug stuck inside of this first board here. But you could see the damage that the slug did, even though it might not have penetrated that much. It looks like possibly only two boards. Still, the damage was immense. Okay, and you could see in the video clips of me shooting, there were pieces of wood, splinters of wood flying back towards me, and it was quite explosive when this slug hit this 2 by 10 it was like an explosive reaction there was just chunks of wood flying back towards me and that's why I always wear safety glasses when I do these tests because you never know what kind of fragments could come back at you and you definitely don't want to lose an eye so uh, there were some huge pieces of wood that shot back towards me and the camera doesn't really do justice but there was at least one huge piece of wood that just flew right by me um, at incredible speed. So, you know, these slugs are not designed for penetration. They're designed for massive energy dump. They're a very large diameter projectile at a moderate velocity, so they're not going to penetrate extremely well, but they do dump a lot of energy and they do a lot of damage. I mean, look what it did to this 2x10, guys. I mean, it just completely cracked the whole thing. And look at the crack over here on the bottom. Uh, these two holes here are from my 4570. That's another test that I was doing on the same day, and I'll be uploading a video of that soon. But I'm going to take this wood apart now. I'm going to try to recover the slug and weigh it and see what kind of weight retention we got, if the slug held together or if it fragmented apart. And then obviously we'll see how many boards it penetrated through. And we'll also take some measurements to see what kind of expansion we got with the slug. It looks like massive amount of expansion. I mean, look at this huge hole, guys. This is my thumb right there. So just massive hole there. Uh, you would not want to be hit by that. Any kind of soft target, 12-gauge slug is devastating on soft targets. That's why it's such a good hunting round, believe it or not. It's very devastating on whitetails because whitetails don't have a heavy... Uh, bone structure they don't have a lot of muscle mass so these slugs just absolutely drop deer really quickly very humane kills with the slugs on deer but i'm going to take this apart we're going to see how many boards this thing penetrated through then we're going to weigh it to see what kind of weight retention we got and then i'm going to take a measurement and we're going to see how much expansion we got so stay tuned All right, guys, so I got some pretty interesting results to share with you. The 12 gauge, two and three quarter inch, one ounce rifled slug from Federal traveling at 1,610 feet per second only penetrated through one Douglas for two by 10, guys. That's very poor penetration. I was expecting it to penetrate through maybe two or three, at least two or three, but only one two by 10. That's not very good. In terms of penetration 
And that's something to keep in mind because I know a lot of people like to use 12 gauge shotguns for bear defense. And if you're going to use a 12 gauge shotgun for bear defense, I highly recommend that you either get yourself a Brennick brand shotgun slug. The Brennick shotgun slugs are specifically designed for bear defense. They have their Black Magic slug and they have their Special Forces Maximum Barrier Penetration slug, which are special slugs that are harder and they're designed for penetration. I recommend you get one of those if you're going to use a 12-gauge shotgun for bear defense or any kind of large game hunting beyond a white-tailed deer or maybe mule deer because these soft lead slugs just don't penetrate well and yes they do dump a lot of energy yes they leave a big hole but they don't have the capability to penetrate through um, bone and a lot of muscle and fat same thing if you plan to use a slug for self-defense purposes it is a good thing because it doesn't over penetrate as you can see but it's also a bad thing if your threat is hiding behind cover or is wearing body armor this slug will have a hard time penetrating through cover and now i want to just compare the result here to some other tests that i've done in the past this slug actually penetrated less than my 44 magnum snub nose revolver now i've done multiple tests with my 44 magnum snub nose and i'll leave links up above if you want to check those tests out but i've done numerous 2x10 tests with my 44 magnum and that revolver has a 2 and 5 8 inch barrel with that revolver i was able to penetrate through two 2x10s with the hornady 225 grain flex tips and also two 2x10s with the Hornady 240 grain XTPs. With 245 grain full metal jackets from Underwood, I was able to penetrate through four 2x10s. And with Underwood and Buffalo Bore 300 grain bear loads, those are hard cast bear loads, I was able to penetrate through four 2x10s. So this 12 gauge slug has much less penetration than even a 44 magnum snub nose revolver okay so yes it has a lot more energy than a 44 magnum but it just can't penetrate as much as a 44 magnum and the reason why is because slugs are much larger diameter and they're made of a soft material they're solid lead and as you can see, it did not retain its shape at all. It basically turned into this weird hunk of lead, okay? And that's really bad for penetration. You want your projectile to stay together and plow through whatever you're trying to shoot. But with this slug, it just completely flattened out and deformed. Now it did leave a huge hole, so I want to just show you guys this hole up close, and that's what makes slugs really devastating against soft targets, because they leave a huge hole. Look at the size of that hole compared to my finger. That's probably about an inch and a quarter hole. So yes, they are devastating, but you really want to just use them against soft targets, okay? You don't want to use them against... Uh, large game or dangerous game unless you have Brennick slugs or unless you use copper solids copper solids are great now a lot of those copper solids you need a rifled barrel shotgun but they'll work excellent against the bear or large game because they're solid copper and the diameter is a little bit smaller than a standard uh, rifled slug so it'll penetrate a little bit better but look at the size of that hole. That's just insane. Um, but it, there is a lot of energy dump with a 12-gauge slug, but they just don't have the penetrating capability. But they, they are very devastating on soft targets. And you can see this huge dent here in the second 2x10. Just absolutely massive. That's about a 2-inch diameter dent. Just look at that, guys. Just absolutely insane. Okay. So pretty interesting results, less penetration than a 44 Magnum, 
I was expecting around the same penetration as the 44 Magnum, but uh, much less. Like I said, the 44 Magnum with soft points or hollow points penetrates through two 2x10s two usually, and with full metal jackets and hard cast bullets, usually penetrates four 2x10s, and this 12 gauge slug only penetrated through one 2x10. So just keep that in mind, guys. If you're going to use a 12 gauge shotgun for bear defense or large game, make sure you get a copper solid or get a Brennick slug. This is really good for areas where there's a lot of people around you. If you live in a suburban area or you live in a trailer park or um, an apartment complex, this is definitely a good projectile to use because you don't have to worry about over penetration and it's devastating on soft targets like a home intruder. Most home intruders are not wearing body armor and even if they are you can aim for their leg. Or So 12 gauge slug definitely effective on soft targets but just doesn't have good penetrating capabilities unless you use specialized slugs like Brennick slugs or copper solids. So I'm going to Take some measurements of this slug now, and we're going to see how much weight retention we got. So stay tuned. All right, guys. So I got my reloading scale, and we're just going to zero it out, and we're going to weigh this slug and see how much weight it retained after penetrating through one Douglas for 2 by 10 So... All right, looks like we're zeroed out. We'll just double check it, 100 grams. All right, and let's switch over to grains now. Weigh our slug, 414 grains. So that's pretty good weight retention. One ounce is equal to 437 grains. So it only lost 23 grains. That's pretty good. So I wasn't expecting that, but that's pretty impressive. And here's an up close look at the slug or whatever's left of it. It's pretty mangled as you can see. Okay, I don't even know what's the front or what's the back. Um, it's just a big chunk of lead basically. So I'm gonna just take some digital calipers now and let's take a measurement and see what kind of expansion we got here. We got it 1.27 inches long. Wow, look at that guys, 1.29. And let's see the other way here, 0 0.64, 0 0.63. So that is just insane, guys. That's a massive amount of lead. This thing would do a lot of damage to a soft target, to a human, or to whitetails. But against the bear, it probably wouldn't penetrate the shoulder bones or the thick layer of fat. You know, bears have about four to five inches of fat, sometimes more, sometimes less, but. The slug would get stopped by that fat. It wouldn't penetrate into the vitals, unfortunately. But that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this test. So stay tuned to my channel for more 12-gauge shotgun penetration tests and ballistics tests. I've already done a sheetrock penetration test with the 12-gauge slug, this same slug, and also with buckshot, birdshot, and small game shot. I recommend you check that video out. It's very good. I'll leave a link up above. I'm also in the process of finishing up a plywood penetration test that I did with this same slug. So that should be pretty interesting. Stay tuned to my channel for that video. It should be uploaded sometime in the next few days. And of course, you can browse my playlists. I have an entire playlist dedicated to the 12 gauge shotgun videos that I've done. And I also have separate playlists for all the different types of ballistics tests that I do. I have a plywood penetration test playlist where I put all my plywood penetration tests. 
I have a separate playlist for all my 2x10 tests. So if you guys want to check those out, you can go to that playlist. And I also have a separate playlist for all my sheetrock tests. And I also have another playlist for all of the other types of penetration tests that I've done, including body armor penetration tests, which I plan to do more of in the coming months. But that's all I got for now. Take care, God bless, and don't forget the three Ps. Prepare, practice, and persevere.